We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Hello, this is just going to be a quick uh, example of what exactly is supposed to go into your video introduction. First, you have to do is introduce yourself and then introduce your topic. So here you're going to lay out exactly what's going to happen in your three minutes of your video, all the main ideas. And then in through your three minutes, in through your image analysis and all your slides and your YouTube video clip and your audio conclusion, you're going to discuss these main ideas. You're going to bring them up and discuss them and give information about them. That way your audience knows from beginning to end what your topic is about. Uh, make sure that when you record this video that you actually prepare, that maybe you write some bullet points down. That way you're, you're able to do this fairly quickly because it should be somewhere between 30 and 45 seconds. If you go farther than that, uh, it's just going to uh, make your video way too long. So for your slides, you have three options when it comes to audio. It has to have audio. It could be either you talking about it, like you're recording yourself. It could be uh, you putting music, or it could be you taking like an audio clip of something that already exists and using that. Racial tension related to segregation has fueled some of the most important court cases in American history. Maybe the most important case which dealt with segregation in the United States was the 1954 case of Brown v. the Board of Education of Topeka, Kansas. To understand this landmark case, it's important to appreciate some context. The Equal Protection Clause of the 14th Amendment reads, no state shall deny to any person within its jurisdiction the equal protection of the laws. However, the Supreme Court denied equal justice in the 1896 case of Plessy v. We shall overcome. Deep in my heart, I do believe we shall overcome. Okay, this would be the part of an image analysis where you would upload some picture or pictures and then you would analyze what was the point of the picture. We've done this all school year when it comes to this. So you would look at the picture and say, what is the message of the picture? If you have a political cartoon, how exactly does this political cartoon um, connect to your topic and what are they trying to say? What was the message of that time? Um, so that's exactly what you got to do for your political cartoon. This is going to be my audio conclusion. So here is where I'm going to take up the main ideas that I just discussed and you saw in the video, and I'm going to reiterate them, retell what I want you to know, and end with a closing sentence. This audio conclusion should be somewhere between 25 to 30 seconds, and it will be the last thing that your audience hears. So they need to have uh, have gotten all the information that you want them to have, or here's your chance to put something else in there. There should also be images for them to see while they are listening to this audio. It shouldn't just be blank and you talking and that's it.